How would you like to explore downtown Easton Center Square with me? Well, stick around and let's get real, Lehigh Valley. Hi, Lehigh Valley. My name is Tara Roy and I'm a realtor in downtown Easton. Each week I create and post new videos all about real estate and the community right here in our sweet little valley. So if you're a real estate consumer looking to buy or sell a property, or if you're thinking about relocating to this area, or maybe you already live here and just want to find out some interesting things to do and some history on the valley, check out my channel where you'll find lots of useful information. While you're there, click on the subscribe button down here on the right and ring the bell so you'll be notified each time I drop a new video. I'm standing in front of the fountain in downtown Easton Center Square. Or is it a circle? Well, you'll hear it referred to as both, and both are accurate because it actually is a circle inside of a square. Today, we're gonna to take a walk around the circle and we're gonna explore each corner of the square so that you can see the different businesses and what's happening in the epicenter of downtown Easton. Are you ready? Let's go. Easton is a city rich in history. It was settled by Europeans in 1739 and founded as a city in 1752. Plans for the city grid with this very square right in the center were drafted almost 270 years ago by Thomas Penn son of famous William Penn who founded Pennsylvania. Many historically significant events have taken place in Easton, but most notable being the public reading of the Declaration of Independence from the steps of the Old Easton Courthouse right here in Center Square at noon on July 8, 1776. Along with Trenton and Philadelphia, Easton was one of only three places where a public reading took place at the time. Each July, Estonians honor this event with a citywide celebration called Heritage Day, which kicks off with a reading of the Declaration in Center Square by our very own town crier, just like it happened centuries ago. The streets are blocked off, there are historical reenactments, street vendors, food trucks, historic building tours, music in the parks by the river, and an amazing fireworks display to close out the evening. It's really such a fun day, something to look forward to every summer. In the center of the city's fountain stands the 75-foot Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which was dedicated in 1900 as a tribute to American Civil War veterans. At the very top stands the city's proud Easton Bugler, who was said to have been sculpted in the likeness of drummer Francis Reed of Company H, 96th Pennsylvania Regiment. Another interesting and historic fact about the square is, when the city was founded in 1752, the residents had to have somewhere to buy food and wares. So where did that happen? Right here in Center Square. Easton Farmer's Market was established that very same year. And the coolest thing is, it never stopped. Easton Farmer's Market is the longest continuous running open air market in the whole country. Every Saturday, farmers and vendors gather to sell their produce and goods to a very happy crowd that comes from all over the Lehigh Valley and its surrounding areas, even New Jersey, for the freshest and yummiest food. Look at this architecture. In Center Square, you will find historic architecture with Georgian, Victorian, and Federal, as well as other styles of influence, with most of the buildings being built between 1830 and the 1920s. Above the ground floor businesses all around Center Square, there are either apartments or office spaces. Okay, now starting in the northeast section, let's explore the businesses in each corner of the square. Here we have the Easton Exchange Pawn Shop, and next to it is an art store called Smartivity Showcase, where they sell art supplies, have studio space, and hold classes and art parties. And here is the Caramel Corn Shop. This delightful little candy store was established in 1931 and still has that charming, old-timey feel. The Bayou is a newer restaurant to the square, established in 2017. It's the second bayou following the Bethlehem Original, which opened in 2014. Both restaurants feature classic New Orleans dishes like buttermilk fried chicken, shrimp and grits, crispy catfish, po'boys, 
and woo, I am getting hungry just thinking about it. Walking clockwise to the southeast corner, we first see the Mayor Building that hosts One Center Square, which is a live music and entertainment venue with two full bars, a bar menu, and the capacity for 1,000 guests. They feature all types of music and usually bring in out-of-town acts that have a following. Oh hey, there's me! Hi! This is like the Hangout Corner, a big part of the Easton bar scene. There's a cluster of restaurant bars that have live musicians to entertain after dinner hours, like the Standard. There's a different kind of bar in the Easton Dollar Savings and Trust Company building where there's a beautiful ballet academy on the first floor. But the other drinking bars include Curly Bakers, Stoke, Mothers, and Rivals. The last three are located in a little alley that shoots off the tip of the corner. There's usually a police presence on this side of the square on Friday and Saturday nights just to make sure everyone is behaving themselves when they come out of these establishments after midnight. And Josie's New York Deli makes a great sandwich. It's a delicious lunch spot for the downtown working crowd. This used to be a Wells Fargo branch. They closed down a while ago, but luckily they left the ATM, which is convenient for the bar and festival crowds. On top of this building, there are some amazing, completely redone luxury apartment suites. On to the southwest corner where we see the Alpha Building. This building holds the Express Times offices on the first floor and the rest of the building is a mix of office space and apartments. It's quite a magnificent turn of the 20th century city building. Next, you have Book and Puppet Company, a store with puppets, toys, and great children's books. It's in a perfect location to catch the kids and parents visiting Crayola. It's also a great spot for Frozen Landia, which is a frozen yogurt cafe that has dozens of delicious toppings for your frosty treat. And of course, the Crayola Store and Experience, a place Easton is very well known for. This wonderful place brings the colorful magic of Crayola to life. The facility has 65,000 square feet of activities and kids just love it. They can make and name their own crayons, star on their own coloring page, and lots of other experiences that allow kids to express their creativity. And lastly, we reach the northwest corner of Center Square. The largest building faces Northampton Street and hosts a family dollar. until you hit the back of the building where Skeggy's Axe House is located. I haven't personally thrown an axe yet, but I've heard from lots of friends that it's a really fun grown-up activity. Hang with friends and hurl an axe. I can see it. There's a Merchant's Bank branch also with an ATM, an H&R Block where you can get your taxes done, two Rivers Trading Posts where they do check cashing and loans, And finally, a Dunkin' Donuts with a super convenient walk-up window that runs along 3rd Street. And there, we've done it. We did a full circle and all the corners of the square. If you would like a free guide to the businesses located in Center Square, click on the link below in the description box and I would be glad to send one to you. I hope you enjoyed the tour of downtown Easton Center Square. Thanks for watching Lehigh Valley. See you next time. If you have a real estate topic you'd like to learn more about, drop a note in the comments and I will be sure to answer your questions and perhaps even make a whole video just on your topic. See you next week, Lehigh Valley. I was waving to a cop. <laughs>